give her all my admiration, love and blessing. She's a heroine. Says the unsayable, thinks the unthinkable, and I think she's a very pioneering spirit. And it doesn't surprise me at all that she's uh, decided to publish. she described what she was doing was this idea of distilling the essence of something from one of her articles and expanding it and harnessing the expertise going beyond her original article to put it into something that has a life beyond the articles. I think it's the future and I think Melanie's the pioneer in this. Clara is speaking the unspeakable. Uh, I admire her moral courage enormously. What is missing in this country is a debate about facts, and she's right that insult has taken over. I'm one of the few people here who've had the privilege to read all five books. I suspect that lots of people will find the resonance, will find themselves nodding. Yes, she's right about that. Yes, she's right about this. Why aren't I reading other people that say she's right about this, right about that? Well, now she set up her own vehicle so that other people can nod and discover how right she is and be able to kind of form a community of people who think the same way. We have slid away from the very understanding of the difference between uh, truth and lies, right and wrong. She's an immensely gifted journalist. She's a woman of complete integrity. Uh, she writes what she believes, and there aren't many of us left. And I have every confidence that she'll be a brilliant publisher because she will ask people who've got something intelligent to say to, to write books for her. And they will say it, I'm sure, with great verve and aplomb, and if they don't, she will make sure that it has verve and aplomb in it before it's published. Really, I am so grateful to you all. Thank you all again for coming here tonight to help launch this great adventure and hope that together we can help open minds and help create that new and fantastic conversation. Thank you. <laughs>